could you please pick up from where you left? Yes, and, uh, uh, well, that, that's on the part of the, the host um, uh, agency, the, the Ministry of Planning. But the international organization that is coming in to do the project has to be careful also in, devising, in the, the designing the right project for that particular the, 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 for that particular job that has to be done. Mm -hmm. uh, both of these parties are under uh, certain constraints uh, in that an international agency makes a certain amount of uh, percentage on whatever project is implemented. Mm -hmm. And in order to perpetuate itself, it would be very anxious to create as many projects as possible. Mm -hmm. um, then they have to operate also in very difficult duty stations. You know, where, where we were, it was after the war against uh, to get rid of Idi Amin. So it was very difficult. The, the housing wasn't there and so on. So that it's difficult to recruit the right personnel to come into an area like that. Um, so that what happens is that sometimes the quality of the technical staff might not be of the best. Mm -hmm. It's who is who's willing to go into that area. The government also, the planning ministry, they might have co political constraints that they need to get that project going. Mm -hmm. So they too might not be as vigilant as they should be. And because of these two uh, interests that, that, uh, that blend, in that the, the, the international organization wants a project, the local counterpart wants a project, they might blur the, the lines that will create the right uh, type of project. Talk to us about the issues, for example, of accountability. There have been yeah. situations, for example, where uh, some elements within the international community agencies mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and elements within host or recipient governments have mm -hmm. actually diverted significant uh, chunks of this aid for personal gain. Right. Uh, I, I, where, you where you have collaboration like that, it's going to be very difficult to avoid some kind of collusion and, and corruption, eventual corruption. But the int international organization, their headquarters are supposed to send in people periodically to, to, after establishing the proper internal controls to ensure that the assets are not uh, misused. They are supposed to send in people periodically to audit the, the, the project, to, to make certain that the the inputs are arriving and are being utilized the same way. But of course, if two uh, counterpart and the the, uh, the international organization, if their staff members decide to collude, it's going to be very difficult to avoid uh, a certain level of corruption. 